Here are 18 bizarre and interesting archaeological discoveries. This is American Eye presenting to you another great video. Number 18. The Great Serpent Mound. Our journey of discovery begins in Ohio and we take in this ancient earthwork known as the Great Serpent Mound. This raised pile of earth, often referred to as the Effigy Mound, is shaped like a giant snake. To date, archaeologists have no idea who built the effigy, but their best guess is sometime around 1000 AD. There are a few theories as to why it was built, either for sacrificial purposes or for religious purposes, while others believe it was for some type of calendar. Number 17. The Karakiz Lions. There's a little town in Turkey called Karakiz, and a resident in this town stumbled upon a bizarre discovery in a local quarry. He alerted scientists to his find in 2001, and they were rather surprised at what they found. He had discovered a life-sized lion sculpted out of granite. There used to be a second cat attached to the lion, but they were blasted apart when looters had hoped to find treasure inside. The lion is thought to be 3,200 years old from the Hittite Empire, which you can learn more about in our video about lost ancient civilizations. Another lion was discovered in northeast Karakiz, and both statues were said to weigh five tons each. It's unknown why they were created, but some believe they were put in front of a local stream as water was a precious commodity to the Hittites. Number 16 Number 16 King Louis XVI Handkerchief there has been a legend going around for so long that many people didn't think too much about. It's said that when King Louis XVI didn't survive the French Revolution, people ran to his body and, and dipped their handkerchiefs into his fresh blood. On January 21st, 1793 to be exact, King Louis XVI faced the guillotine, and some believe that the handkerchief bearing the late king's blood has been found. The handkerchief was found hidden inside a dried squash surrounded by images of revolutionary heroes. Number 15 Rosetta Stone. By far, one of the greatest archaeological discoveries is the Rosetta Stone. It was discovered by a French soldier in 1799 while he was sifting through the Egyptian sands. The stone dates back to 196 BC, and this stone played a key role helping decipher Egyptian hieroglyphs. It's part of a larger stone and contains fragments of three languages, including Egyptian hieroglyphics, Demotic script, and Ancient Greek. The stone is currently in the British Museum. Number 14. Mount Owen Moa. You would be forgiven for thinking this discovery was a joke, but it's 100% legit. This is the Mount Owen Claw, discovered in 1986, deep inside the caves of Mount Owen. Judging by the appearance of the claw, it looks like an animal that has recently been deceased and not from an upland moa. These haven't been on Earth since 1500 BC. People used to hunt and eat these birds, which was a main reason for them going extinct. This was certainly an unbelievable find. Number 13. Gobekli Tepe. When did humans first settle into little towns and begin farming and building temples? Many believed around 8000 BC, but an interesting find in 1994 has made many question this theory. Gobekli Tepe is a rural area of Turkey which has evidence to prove that this area was inhabited in the 10th millennium BC. Quite possibly the oldest place of worship, Gobekli Tepe's people were semi-nomadic hunters. This find has got archaeologists wondering if building projects like Gobekli Tepe lead people to settling and not the other way around as always thought. Number 12. Petroglyphs of Winnemucca Lake. Could these possibly be the oldest petroglyphs in North America? Archaeologists believe so. Over in Nevada is the dry Winnemucca Lake, and there you'll find large boulders that vary in design. Some of them feature diamond shapes etched into them, and others have circular designs. They're different to other petroglyphs in that they have so many more images than other petroglyph samples, and they're over 10,000 years old. It's not known exactly who created them or why, and research continues. Number 11. The Egyptian Book of the Dead. This is a remarkable find in a Queensland museum's basement. How it got there is anyone's guess, because it's an ancient Egyptian spell book for the afterlife. However, it seems that there's more than just one copy of this remarkable book, and they often differ from book to book, depending on what the owner was hoping for in the afterlife. Number 10. Screaming Mummies. Discoveries like this might make you not want to become an archaeologist, but here you go. Found in 1886, let me introduce you to Unknown Man E. It's doubtful the man was screaming like this when he moved on to the next life, but the ancient Egyptians did strap the chin to the skull, so it would often fall making it look like this scream of anguish. Turns out our unknown man was the discarded son of King Ramses III, who had plotted to do away with his father. As you can tell, his plan was unsuccessful. Number 9. The Pilot Stone. This could possibly be the best piece of evidence that Pontius Pilate actually existed, and it's the Pilot Stone. It was found in the Caesarea region of Judea. Pontius Pilate plays a pretty big role in the Bible, which many have believed in faith, but the stone might make it actually more real. The inscription on the stone loosely translates to, To the divine Augusti, this Tiberium. Pontius Pilate, prefect of Judea, has dedicated this. 
Although it's difficult to prove the existence of every Bible story, this stone can most certainly prove the story of Pontius Pilate. Number 8. The Copper Scroll Treasure This could possibly lead a lucky individual to a vast treasure of gold and silver. It was an ancient copper scroll that was found in 1952 at a site in Qumran. It was found along the Dead Sea Scrolls and they date back roughly 2,000 years. Those that have been studying the scrolls believe that the locals hid vast amounts of treasure to keep it out of the hands of the Roman forces. You can view the copper scroll at the Jordan Museum in Amman. Number 7. The Grobble Man we can thank peat farmers in Northern Europe for this insane discovery in 1952, and the truth is, not nearly as terrifying as it looks. These individuals had a fairly normal burial, but due to the high acidity, low temperature, and lack of oxygen in the bog, their bodies have been perfectly preserved. Although it's not all sugar-coated, this grovel man didn't have a great ending to his life. Several other bodies are also found, but you can view the grovel man yourself at Mosgard Museum in Denmark. Number 6. Dighton Rock. The discovery of Dighton Rock occurred in 1690 and it weighs 40 tons. It was located in the Taunton River of Berkeley and contains really mysterious markings. The markings don't match any type of marking ever seen before and the origins of the rock have left many people confused. Theories abound as to where the rock came from and why it's there, one of them being that the markings have come from Norse origins and depicted a Viking voyage. The other theory is that it's the work of Native Americans, ancient Phoenicians, the Portuguese, or Chinese, so you can take your pick. Number 5. Hagar Kim These structures blew the minds of archaeologists and researchers alike. Hagar Kim predates even the oldest Egyptian pyramids and Stonehenge and dates back roughly to 3600 BC. These structures were often discovered in early parts of the 19th century and located in Malta. Hagar Kim is one of the oldest religious sites on Earth and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Should you ever visit, there is a lovely museum and a small restaurant to enjoy a small bite to eat. Number 4. Giant Footprint South Africa is our next spot, and here we see Michael Tillinger showing off a giant footprint thought to be 200 million years old. Many would like you to believe that this is proof that giants once roamed the earth. One professor even said that it's the definite work of aliens licking out the area with their tongues. And I truly hope he wasn't pulling our legs. You're welcome to go see it yourself and then make up your own mind. Number 3. Voynich Manuscript The Voynich Manuscript was, and still is, the source of a lot of frustration in the 20th century because no one could read it. It was found in 1912 by an antique bookseller and contains 250 pages of illegible text. There are letters and diagrams which include female nudes, herbs, and zodiac signs. The book is sitting at Yale's University Beinecke Rare Book and Manuscript Library and is estimated to be roughly 600 years old. It's thought to be written in Central Europe, and conspiracy theorists love this theory that believes that the book is a secret code that no one has been able to crack. One professor claims to have deciphered 14 of the symbols of the book, but that's the furthest anyone has gone. Number 2. The Akambaro Figures Discovered in 1944, these are the Akambaro figures. They're small ceramic figurines that were found in Akambaro, Mexico. Waldemar Yulsrud can be credited for their find, and he says that he found them while horse riding. Together with a local farmer, the pair dug up 32,000 figurines. The figures included dinosaurs and people from all around the world. Where the first red flag came in was that people obviously did not live as dinosaurs. The second red flag was that the figures were not even scratched at all. So if you know something we don't, do share it with us in the comment section below. Number 1. Los Lunas Decalogue Stone Discovered in the 1880s, this intriguing stone was found on the side of the hidden mountain in New Mexico. The inscription on this stone is said to be an abridged version of the Ten Commandments, written in the form of Paleo-Hebrew. The first time anyone mentioned this stone was in 1933 when Professor Frank Hibben allegedly stumbled upon it. He was led by an unnamed man who claimed to have spotted the stone as a child in the 1880s. The punctuation on the stone is the only flaw in confirming whether or not the stone is authentic. For $25, you can view the stone in the exact same spot where it was originally discovered 100 years ago. Hey guys, you like that video? Go ahead and click on another one right here.